Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bull Ring, presented by our friends at HMS Motorsport. I'm Alan Dietz, along with Jess Ballard. And, uh, Jess, it's uh, very nice to see you again. Thank you. I know um, we were planning to go to the Cars Tour Banquet. Yes. Until the Chiefs game was scheduled for Saturday afternoon. Yes, and you had prior... I mean, yeah. you had your priorities, obviously. But it sounded like you had enough fun for both of us. Yeah. I mean, for the weekend highlights, we can talk about <laughs> the, there's a Drew Parker concert on Friday, yeah, which was, he joined sounds... us for the kickoff party at Hooters yeah. for the Snowball Derby. Yeah. And a little better crowd at Coyote at Joe's, At Coyote right? Joe's. It was a great show. And there were a few guys on the stage, I don't know what their positions were, but they had Racing America hats on. Wow. Yeah. So, And did um, they ask you for your autograph? They did not. And Drew did not sign my hat. But yep, that's next really time. rude. Um, and then the Cars Tour Banquet was the next day. It was so much fun. Yeah. Um, was, I'll tell you what, for a short track banquet, it was people get pretty spiffy. I mean, the girls are wearing yes. it looks like prom dresses and yes. all sorts and of things. And they had that really cool um, Money, photo. The photo thing. Yeah. Yeah. You can go to uh, Jess's uh, Twitter page, which is not Baby Jess anymore. It's what? It's just at Jess Ballard. <laughs> Only I grew Travis up. calls you Baby Jess, right? Yeah. That's it. Well, um, we got a lot of great guests today. Not Drew Parker, since he was so rude to you. <laughs> but we will have Bob Sargent on from Track Enterprises to talk to us about Speed Fest and the Stars National Series and all the great stuff they got going on. Jacob Gomes, he was the winner of the All-Star Showdown out in California this past weekend. First SRL National Race of the season. David Reagan, he's going to be at Speed Fest in a Pro Late Model along with young Dawson Sutton. He'll be making his Pro Late Model debut. He'll join us as well as matt weaver who will be at speed fest covering it and um you know, you know matt can, will be at speed fest yep, he likes that race yep well you know what's not to like about it um, it's a great race i have gone one time in matt person me. you say that but i don't remember that <laughs> i'm gonna be honest well you sound like most girls <laughs> that I've met. but it was freezing is what i remember yeah, but it looks like it it's supposed cool. to be nicer this but year. that was actually where i we saw your potential for doing the kind of stuff you're doing now you guys did a little 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 documentary about me and travis mm -hmm. yep like a three minute documentary. a little documentary for a little person that's right thank you now i'm here um it's funny how the and works. i also want to remind you too if you tuned into racing america this past weekend you might have noticed uh we didn't have any races on that's because citrus county got rained out the harley wilson memorial for the pure stocks 80 is it 85 50 it's a lot of money to win i can't yeah, remember for a which, pure stock yeah, race. it's a lot of money to win and um i believe it's 8500 to win in 59 laps or it might be reversed but it's something like well, either that. way holy cow yeah it's a lot of money and uh the supers were scheduled to race this weekend the super late models they won't race now so uh everything should work out where you can watch speed fest and then tune in to citrus county and It'll be a, a full great, day of racing. Yep, yeah, great big weekend here on Racing America. So, with all that said, we'll take our first break of the afternoon, and when we come back, we'll get you ready for Speed Fest with our first guest, Bob Sargent. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety and the exclusive importer for Schrott belts and Schubert helmets. When risk is around every corner, let our experts help you select the best harness belts, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. Don't make safety an afterthought. We have 25 years of experience of educating our customers on all aspects of driver safety and providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, Sprint Cars, and Sport Cars. Visit our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us out online at hmsmotorsport.com to learn the details of our products and, of course, order online. PFC Brakes has more championships than any other, and now they're on every champion's car as the official brake provider for the Camping World SRX Series. Remember, PFC Brakes. The secret is it's quicker.
Welcome to Raceface Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then Raceface Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. Hi, I'm Carso Savar, and you're watching Racing America. Welcome back to the Bull Ring, presented by HMS Motorsport. Alan and Jess here with you this afternoon, and our first guest, Jess, especially if you're a, a fan of the Bull Ring, needs no introduction. Mm -hmm. That's Bob Sargent. With Track Enterprises, a huge year for you guys uh, with the new Stars National Series. But it all starts this weekend down at uh, Watermelon Capital Speedway, Chris Motorsports Park down in Georgia. I know you guys have got to be excited. We really are. You know, um, it is kind of our kickoff and kind of our inaugural event for the ASA name being brought back into motorsports. Um, grassroots racing and just a lot going on down here at Cordillo. I mean, we're very pleased to be able to come back with speed fest, great entry list of race cars. Um, we should have over 50 late models in the two divisions. We should have a, a lot of other cars there, hopefully over hundred race cars, uh, putting on a great show for the fans and a star studded field of, of cars have entered and we expect a few more in the next couple of days. So, kind of want everybody to keep watching the websites and and obviously listen to your show and and um should uh, really have a good feel there yeah you mentioned this was the inaugural event for that asa label um on the series and i think people are really really excited about that um because there's a lot of history tied to that name and i i gotta assume that you've been really um, excited about the support you've received, you know, internally in the racing community by the racers and the teams about this national tour and in the ASA name. We really have, you know, um, we're fortunate to be able to use the ASA name and um, brings back a lot of memories from when ASA, the American Speed Association had such success, um, Rex Robbins and everyone that worked there. So, so we're looking forward to that. We're looking forward to involving some of the old drivers that, that raced in that series. And of course, just again, like you said, the branding, the mixture of the old and the new, we feel there are so many good talented teams and drivers, whether it be owners, um, crew chiefs, drivers in, in this um, pavement late model world that uh, we're really excited to get this started. When we first started working with CRA and, Nashville and some of our tracks, uh, we had an overwhelming um, question about a national tour. So we're just so excited about being able to put it all together and uh, have our first national race at Pensacola on March 11th. But you're right. Um, this weekend kind of kicks off our late model uh, racing for the year, and, and we're looking forward to it. Um, for the folks that don't know, uh, with the ASA brand coming back uh southern super series cra the midwest tour they all go under that that banner that will also include the stars national series 10 races to determine a national champion huge races involved in this slinger nationals uh all american 400 winchester 400 kick it off at at um at five flags in march is there an a single event that sticks out to you that that um, maybe you're a little bit more excited about than another. I know that uh, it's going to be kind of hard to not be very excited about that first race in March. Oh, you're right. I mean, the first race, the inaugural race, we want it to go well, and, and we think it will. We're getting a lot of interest. But, you know, we, we kind of picked the 10 most premier facilities in the United States in the Midwest here uh, from north to south and um, a majority of these are established events that we're going to be able to add to it so to pick one of those um, you know that'll be very difficult I think everyone has a unique twist a unique um, history uh, unique uh, geography where they're located at the size of the track the the pavement the grandstands 
So every one of those um, we're going to look forward to each time we move on to the next one. We are working on each and every event, um, schedules, entry blanks, sponsors, times, things like that will be coming out very shortly. And um, we just think it's all going to be very good. Yeah, and, you know, just while you were talking, I was thinking about some of the other ones, Madison, Toledo, uh, be it North Wilkesboro, the week of the, the All-Star Race, which I think is going to be huge. Hickory, uh, the Redbud 400. Um, I know that this is kind of a loaded question, but in this journey over the last couple of years to, to create this national series, what what is maybe something you didn't expect that that has come about through this process i think probably the the biggest thing that i didn't expect was the enormity of it all um you know just putting together the staff putting together these tracks putting together our tv package which again we'll be announcing shortly um i know people are very interested in that i think they're going to be very pleased um, putting together sponsors, putting together winter, winter circles programs. You'll see when this rolls out March 11th, all the different intricacies of it. And I, I think that's probably the biggest thing that I joke a little bit about as we work daily on this. It's like, I'll say sometimes I know why no one has done this for a long time. It is an enormous project to do it properly. And we're focused with the team I have put together. Um, on doing it as professional as possible and um, delivering to the teams and the fans and the promoters and the sponsors a really class act, top-notch um, grassroots national series. Well, Bob, uh, we can't uh, wait for that race in March. We can't wait for Speed Fest this weekend. Get down to Watermelon Capital Speedway if you can. If you can't do the distance or what have you, can watch here on Racing America. Uh, thanks again, Bob, for all your support, and uh, we look forward to seeing you down this weekend. Thank you very much. All right, there's Bob Sargent with Track Enterprises. And of course, the Big Stars National Series coming up. Speaking of coming up, when we come back, we're going to talk to the big winner at Irwindale this past weekend, Jacob Gomez. What creates a winning combination? Quality, focus, discipline, and most importantly, speed. At Pepperjack Kennels, we provide exceptional water and land training services for hardworking retrievers. From leading in the field to leading on the track, together we establish winning dogs and a winning team. Devoted to retrievers and motorsports, we are Pepperjack Kennels. Visit us online to learn more. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five Star. Speed Fest returns to Chris Motorsports Park at Watermelon Capital Speedway Friday and Saturday, January 27th and 28th. See the super late models, pro late models, outlaws, legends, and bandoleros. Speed Fest has practice and qualifying Friday. Well, all of the feature action is Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. For discounted tickets and info, check out trackenterprises.com and chrismotorsportspark.com. It's Speed Fest 2023 at Watermelon Capital Speedway Friday and Saturday, January 27th and 28th. Yeah, spent a number of years racing uh, short tracks. Uh, obviously, mainly was focused around the southeast, Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama, Florida. Uh, we ventured North Carolina a little bit there at the start, but uh, mainly, you know, mainly those states. And then as we started to do more, we started to travel more of the country. Went up to Indiana for some races. Um, Michigan on a couple occasions. So yeah, kind of been all over. I've had the pleasure of, of racing at a lot of short tracks across the country. Uh, it was a, a lot of fun and, and enjoyed my time doing it.
Glad to have you back here with us on the Bull Ring, presented by Each Man Motorsport. Alan and Jess here with you this afternoon. And Jess, of course, big race this uh, past weekend. The big race was the uh, All Star Showdown out in California at Irwindale for the SRL National Series. And joining us now is the winner, Jacob Gomes. First off, congratulations, Jacob. That's uh, that's a huge win. Yeah, no, for sure. Probably the biggest one in my career so far. What was the um, vibe like? You know, we we talk about the Stars National Series, which uh, will get going in March, and you guys start out in California here in January. You had a couple of cars from the South come down there and from the Midwest and other places. Um, was it any different than a, than a regular SRL race for you? Could you, could you uh, tell maybe something that was a little bit – different than what you'd seen yeah no for sure i think it was a lot different than when we were running the srl the srl is pretty competitive but having other guys like bubba and, and all those other guys that came came around from colorado and there's some guys from oregon that came and it i mean it was it was definitely a lot harder than um than usual it's almost like a mini derby obviously nothing matches to the snowball derby but it uh definitely had uh it was it was pretty hyped up. There's a lot of people there, a lot of a lot of cars and a lot of things going on. Is the fact that it was a national tour race and it had all of those big names there, is that why you would consider it your the biggest win of your career so far? It paid pretty good too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, definitely uh just de- definitely the amount of cars and the amount of people that came and then definitely hands down the the pay was the biggest thing and the trophy was pretty cool and just everything that uh has to do with it and it being a national race was kind of cool i know this year our plan is to run a couple more national races and um obviously we want to run all of them but it's it's hard to do it living in california but we're going to try our best and do as much as we can um you know one of the things that that kind of stuck out to me about this year's snowball derby uh, you know we talked about it was just how strong the cars from the West were, you know, not a surprise that, that Derek Thorne was as good as he was, but, uh, you, I believe were the, the top finishing first time starter. So you got that bonus that went along with it. Jace Hansen from Colorado was strong. What do you think has, um, changed in maybe the last 10 years or so that's put you guys on that next level? Well, oh, hey. Hands down, I mean, it's pretty. It's a lot of people know about it, but we've had an alliance with Derek Thorne and Mike Keene for the last three years, and just with my dad too, and everybody just building our program to make it better. With a lot of good people following us and backing us, and uh, just had a lot of good people that in our support window and helping us get to the racetrack. And uh, hands down, with Mike and my dad together, and and Derek Thorne been helping us out the last couple of years. You know, it's been a huge blessing, and hands down they're probably the best team i believe in the short track history of short track racing um they're just a great combo and they've been helping us out tremendously these last couple of years along the same lines in years past i've seen like on different award shows or uh podcasts that people from your side of the country out west think that they maybe have an un a disadvantage because they're not talked about as much as the in terms of super late model racing and pro late model racing as the guys on the east coast do you feel like that's still the case or do you feel like that's getting better now that now that the west coast drivers are having all this success i mean it's i think it's been getting better especially with the coverage of other like your guys's coverage and coverage of a lot of people helping us look better and obviously there's a huge following behind the srl and and it's yeah, I, I still, I don't think the, I mean, back here, we got a lot of big races and they're, they're, they're good races and, but you can't beat the ones that have been around for 60, 70 years. You got the, I mean, you got the Derby, which our plan is to keep running the Derby. We want to go again this year. You got the router, you got so many big races that have been around so long and you have to be back there to run those races to make, to, to get the backing or the following that you need to, that you believe. But yeah, here I feel like there's we're completely. Sometimes I feel like we're all underrated and hands down. Like looking at Derek, I mean he's done everything. I mean he's kicked 
ass all year. So I think, I think it's, he's helped us out as, as a driver for all us West coast people, because now there's been a falling behind him and it's kind of helped us out, but yeah, um, definitely, definitely it's getting better. Well, Jacob, congratulations on this weekend. I know it was a big win. Uh, excited to hear you coming back East a few more times and, uh, let us know if we can do anything for you. We'll be watching you this year. Yeah. Thank you very much. I know our plan this year is to run. Um, we're going to run all those blizzard races. I know that our next, my next race for sure is going to be that, uh, stars tour race. So looking forward to that and hopefully we can win some more races and, uh, make it out there a lot more. I, my, my goal is not to race out here forever. I'd like to be out there a lot longer. Well, good luck. Uh, I got a feeling you're going to do very well. Thank you. Thanks for having me on here today. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. That's Jacob Gomes wearing the all-star showdown. And you know, this is something I realized last week. I didn't put all this together, but that second and third weekend, um, in March, you're going to have, as he said, stars national opener at five flags mm -hmm. week later rattler at south alabama oh both races paying over twenty thousand dollars to win i think that's going to be a great opportunity for drivers to to make a trip out of yeah. it yeah and on top of that you're going to have the easter bunny twins for pass and act at hickory that second weekend too which is going to bring the cars from the northeast down so uh, that's going to be a really mm -hmm. exciting time yeah i didn't realize those races were back to back yep that makes sense for travel purposes. Yep. And stay tuned because hopefully they'll all be on Racing America. <laughs> I know the Easter Bunnies will. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk to a guy who we know quite well, two-time NASCAR Cup Series winner and a racer this weekend down at Watermelon Capital. That's David Reagan. He'll join us next. Speedfest returns to Chris Motorsports Park in Watermelon Capital Speedway Friday and Saturday, January 27th and 28th. See the super late models, pro late models, outlaws, legends, and bandoleros. Speedfest has practice and qualifying Friday. Well, all of the feature action is Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. For discounted tickets and info, check out trackenterprises.com and chrismotorsportspark.com. It's Speedfest 2023 at Watermelon Capital Speedway Friday and Saturday, January 27th and 28th. Communication is key in the racing world. When it comes to at-the-track communications, there is only one place to call. Racing Electronics is the number one source for professional race communications worldwide. Over 20 years in the business proves their dedication to the sport. With every driver and crew communication, two-way radios and headsets, scanners and more, Racing Electronics is a one-stop communication source for all your motorsports needs. Before the green flag flies, make sure you have all your team communication gear from Racing Electronics. Stop by and see a Racing Electronics representative at the track near you. Visit their showroom in Concord, North Carolina, or order online at racingelectronics.com. It's race time on Short Track America. Dirt or pavement, from east to west. Short Track America features some of the biggest grassroots races around the country. Super late models to street stop racing. If it's on a half mile or smaller track, it's on Short Track America. On MAV-TV, Motorsports Network. Zerk Motorsport has been providing industry-leading cleaning and analysis for heat exchangers for over 15 years. Now that same technology is here, in the U.S., tailored to your specific competitive needs for every racing market. The only 100% certain way to know that your, your cooler is clean. Go to ZerkMotorsport.com and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more details on how we can help you gain Zerk speed. Hi, I'm Jake Garcia, and you're watching Racing America. Glad to have you back with us on the Bull Ring this afternoon. I'm Alan Deep. She's Jess Ballard, and now we're being joined by two-time NASCAR Cup Series winner David Reagan, who will be at a Pro Late Model this weekend down at Watermelon Capital Speedway for Speed Fest. And David, I know, uh, first off, thanks for joining us. And I know you got to be excited to to get back down there to Watermelon Capital. It's a, a place really special to your family. 
Yeah, you're right, Alan. Um, and I can remember the first real memories that I have as a kid at the racetrack was at uh, Cordial Motor Speedway back when it was dirt uh, in the early 1990s. I raced my Legends car there when they paved it and kind of reconfigured it. And then uh, when they moved Speed Fest there from Lanier Speedway uh, in the mid 2000s, uh, I ran it several times when I had uh, my uh, full time uh, late model team and a lot of good memories. So it's been a few years since I've been there, but uh, absolutely looking forward to getting back and seeing a lot of old friends and, and family and familiar faces. Well, before we jumped on here, Alan and David were talking about um, back in the day. Alan announced some of uh, David's races. When what was he? What what type of cars uh, were they? Thunder Roadsters, like Legends cars. Like yeah, Legends stuff. They, Alan was aging himself, but um, yeah. now that you've done all of this, I look like David then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now that you've done all of this racing for for all of these years. What is your favorite type of car to drive? You know, really, my favorite type of car is a short track late model car. You know, the the offset straight rail, uh, you know, super late models, pro late models. Uh, you know, as a kid, I didn't get to race those a lot. I ran Legends cars, Thunder Roadsters, ran some uh, uh, late model stocks around you know, Caraway and Motor Mile and, and Hickory, but I never got to drive a, a straight rail like that Southern style late model car until, you know, I was racing in NASCAR full time, but I just love those cars. I love the design of them. I, I love uh, the, the craftsmanship and working on them. And they're a lot of fun. You know, they have a ton of grip, uh, a lot of power. And I really think that some of the best drivers uh, in the country uh, are in the Southeast uh, racing these types of cars. So it, it's always a lot of fun to, to go back and, and to compete with these you know guys and girls. And, and I think that's why you see a lot of the NASCAR guys, they often come back you know, to uh, this type of racing because there's still some really, really good race car drivers out there that uh, it's fun to compete against. I know you still you know, get to go out there in the cup car and stuff like that uh, on the occasion. When you want to, I mean, that, that race you won with, with front row at Talladega was just unbelievable to, to take a, a small team like that. And now, you know, they've won a truck championship. I thought Michael McDowell ran unbelievable last year, but do you, do you ever step back and, and I, I know the answer to this and I know the reason you retired was to spend more time with your family and stuff. But do you ever get that itch to, to be in a car a little bit more regular? You know, Alan, I've been real fortunate to have been able to compete in a few races per year. The last couple of years that, that I've, I've retired from full-time racing, uh, I still work closely with the Ford Performance Group and, and do all of their testing for the next-gen car at a lot of different racetracks. So I feel like I've had the best of both worlds where I've had one foot in the door and I've been a part of the motorsports world at the NASCAR level. But uh, I've been able to be uh, a better husband and a better father, uh, being home, and, and and the stress level is a lot lower when when you're not having to, uh, you know, go and, and race 40 times a year and uh, and have all the the sponsorship dollars to to work on and and the team owners to answer to and, and all the other stresses that come with being a full time nascar guy but but i do uh, answer that question honestly and i do miss it some because i, I love racing uh the, the car i love sitting down behind the wheel i love working on the cars and working with the team but it was so hard for me to put that first and, and my family on the back burner and so now you know i really love uh you know spending time with with my kids and my wife and doing things i'm sitting here in their homework room at my house and you can see some of their things behind me uh, i spend a lot of afternoons here when i'm home to uh, to kind of hang with them so i i do have that um that little bit of, a, of an itch sometimes to uh, to get out there with those guys and, and this will kind of be uh, some, some, uh, some great moments down at, uh, at Cordell this weekend to be able to hop in a car and, you know, go through some of those things and, and compete and have some fun. You know, I've talked to William Byron and Eric Jones about this from, from your driving this new generation cup car. Does it seem more similar to a late model than the old car did? You know, in, in some ways it, it does. Um, the old car was so aero dependent and downforce dependent. You know, you had the, the wedge in the bodies that, 
you know, it gained more downforce and side force, the more yaw that it carried. And, and you almost had to drive it a little different. And I feel like these next gen cars, they're a little bit more um, uh, straightforward. They're, they're, they, downforce is still very important, but, but it, it doesn't uh, come from the same ways that the old style car does. Um, you, you can drive these cars extremely hard. They've got really good brakes. You know, the uh, sequential gearbox uh, kind of adds a whole nother le element uh, of shifting and, and how you attack the corners on even some ovals. So, you know, yes, in some ways it, it does drive a little bit more like a, a traditional race car that, you know, but um, but but also the, these super late models and the offset late models that we're going to be racing this weekend, um, man, that they're a lot of fun to drive too. You can just really drive them really hard. A lot of it comes down to tire management and, and how you manage the tires. But you know, at the end of the day, race cars are all the same. You know, you have to get her through the corner. Whoever doesn't use as much brake and can get back to the throttle the quickest is going to be fast. So uh, I've always tried to keep that approach throughout the different uh, evolutions of, of the, the cup car and different race cars that I've driven over the years. Uh, sometimes we overcomplicate things as racers. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> well, we look forward to seeing you down in Cordial this weekend. I appreciate you taking a few minutes out for us. And uh, anytime we do anything for you, please let us know. Yeah, I look forward to seeing everybody this weekend. The weather's going to be great. Uh, look for us in the Byron Outdoor Super Center. Uh, number 17, well, one of my, my favorite numbers. It'll be fun to get out there on the track and uh, you guys come by and uh, we'll bring some stuff to sign and hopefully we see a lot of uh, fans and familiar faces down there this weekend no doubt well thanks again david thank you guys all right whenever we come back we're going to talk to a guy that he's actually going to be racing this weekend dawson sutton he'll join us after this Hooters and racing go together like killer wings and ice cold beer. Racing has been at the core of Hooters DNA from the beginning. Whether it's backing the best drivers or serving up the best food on race day, race fans know Hooters is the real deal. Big screens, great food, good times. Hooters, the official home of race fans. SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. <laughs> Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. Rhino Classifieds is an online classifieds platform built for racers and race fans. Rhino makes finding parts, trailers, and specialty vehicles easy. Posting is free. Signing up is free. That's a lot of free. So jump in and join the most streamlined motorsports-focused classifieds out there at rhino.co. That's R-Y-N-O dot C-O. Glad to have you back here with us on the Bull Ring. And if you tuned in, well, not tuned in, but if you checked out RacingAmerica.com last week, you saw the newest member of the Radley War Racing team announced mm -hmm. as Dawson Sutton. Dawson joining us now, planning on making his debut uh, with Radley War this weekend at Speed Fest down in Georgia. First off, Dawson, congratulations. And uh, I know you got to be excited about this weekend. 
thank you. You know, I've always wanted to race a late model. You know, I've been waiting for a long time for this. I've been racing legend cars all year, so it's nice to get into something new. And, you know, the late model stuff is a lot different, but I'm going to have to get used to it. It's nice to have Rackley War behind me, too. You know, it's it's really cool. I love it. You know, the marketing side of things is is my thing. And one of my biggest compliments to the Rackley War team is their branding mm -hmm. is really great. And therefore, the drivers that race for them, you know, they're marketed very well. Their their branding's nice. And that's something that you don't always see everywhere in short track racing. So what was your reason for choosing to partner up with Rackley War? Uh, the main reason, well, my dad is a part owner. So that helps. Willie and him, <laughs> yeah, that's like the main reason. I don't think I'd race for anybody else. And so Willie, Willie and my dad are, you know, really good friends and they're co they're both co-owners of the team. So I wouldn't race for anywhere else. And that's, the, that's like the main reason. And I mean, the late model stuff, I've, I've always wanted to get into it, but I just had to start out with the legends and now I can move on to the late models and, you know, just move up the rankings. You've cut your teeth uh, in the Legends cars there on the quarter mile at Nashville, which anytime you go to Nashville, if you can watch the quarter mile races, you need to make sure that you watch the quarter mile races because yeah. as big as the the main racetrack is and the cars can get spread out, it's the exact opposite on the quarter mile. Um, have you been able to get any laps around the big track? Uh, so I've been there three times and I tested there three times. That was the first place I went to in the late model. It's honestly, that's the easiest track I've been to in the late model, just because, I mean, it, there's so much banking and there's a lot of grip there compared to the other tracks that I've been to, like Cordial and, uh, Montgomery and all of those tracks. But Na Nashville is one of the ones that I'm getting into this year and, you know, it should be really good. and Nashville has pretty good racing, so should teach me a lot. So do you know what your schedule is going to be for this year yet, or is that still in the works? So I know I have 30 plus races. I know I'm racing Nashville, uh, Cordial this race, uh, and Montgomery full time, Pensacola, and then a few car store races. Wow. Probably so th this is. When you say 30 races, you're talking straight out late model races, not legends races. Yeah. So wow. I'm going to try to race some legend or as much legend car stuff as I can too this year. Wow. So I thought it was. Well, uh, we should see a lot of you here mm -hmm. on Racing America. So <laughs> make sure in all your racing endeavors to tag at Racing America because, again, being at Montgomery, at Five Flags, at Nashville. Hey, that's race in America territory. That's right. And, mm. and, um, shoot, you got my, you asked me a question and what was my train of thought? That's a lot of races. That is a lot of races. And what were we, what were we talking about? Yeah. Before that. I don't know. Oh, what his schedule was going to be his schedule. And, um, this is the kind of hard hitting news <laughs> that you can only see here on the bull ring Dawson. Dude, I had a great question. Well. All right. It'll come to me. Yeah. Now, do you, um, I know in past years, um, it's been a multi car team. It doesn't, you don't necessarily have to tell us who those drivers are if it hasn't been announced, but are they still planning on, um, you know, other cars and other drivers with the super late model and the pro late model? Uh, yeah. So I know, I know the super, they're going to try to run a lot more super stuff this year. Uh, and then the pro lates. Uh, I couldn't really tell you who's racing. I know they announced that, uh, uh, th I know there's another driver that's going to race a few car store races, pro late model races with me. Um, uh, and then I think there's a other, some other few guys that are racing the pro late models. Well, I think it's going to be another big, uh, busy year for Rackley war. Of course, they've got the, the truck to Matt the Benedetto. Uh, Dawson, as I said, uh, I did kind of make a joke out of it, but we are going to see a lot of you on Racing America. So good luck this year, and uh, we'll talk to you after that first win. Thank you. Thanks for having me.
All right, that's Dawson Sutton. Again, we'll see him this weekend at Speed Fest in the Pro Late Model. We come back, we're going to talk to Matt Weaver about all this national stuff going on and some of the rumblings going on in the NASCAR Cup garage as well. With a can of PB Blaster in your hand, even you can work it like a pro. PB Blaster busts the toughest rust anywhere it's found. In the garage. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. In the yard. Oh, that's right, you're in control. Come at me, bro. Penetrate tough rust anywhere around the house. Come on, get you some. That's right, baby. Woo! PB Blaster, don't bust your knuckles, bust your nuts. Get some. Welcome to Race Face Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then Race Face Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety and the exclusive importer for Schrott belts and Schubert helmets. When risk is around every corner, let our experts help you select the best harness belts, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. Don't make safety an afterthought. We have 25 years of experience of educating our customers on all aspects of driver safety and providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, sprint cars, and sport cars. Visit our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us out online at hmsmotorsports.com to learn the details of our products and, of course, order online. Hey, I'm William Byron, and you're watching Racing America. Glad to have you back. Joining us now, the founding editor of Short Track Scene. That's Matt Weaver. Matt, of course, uh, uh, got us covered on the Short Tracks and on the Cup Series side. I do want to ask you a couple of Cup Series uh, questions, but before we do that, uh, we talked about the National Series, and I got to talk about it again. Uh, we had Irwindale this past weekend for the SRL National Race. I know the first stars national race isn't until March, but I, I feel like we're going to get a little taste of that this weekend down at speed fest. Yeah, I do. Um, listen, it's a co-sanctioned Southern super series CRA race, which it has been a while, but it's the first chance that they've had to work together as this kind of new, um, coalition of sorts. Right. So I think you're going to see a little bit of participation from, you know, mid America and the deep South and, Listen, above all else, I love this race so much. And I love, you know, Watermelon Capital Speedway, Crisp County. Um, I always walk away from that race, you know, driving back home thinking, God, I love this race. It's yeah. a, you know, it's a it's a tiny bull ring that has multiple lanes, which you don't see a lot of. Um, you always have a pretty good car count. And even, you know, people make make a lot about having somewhere in that 21 to 25 range that place is so tiny really that's all you need and so there's going to be tons of action tons of lap cars in the way and i love that race so much and i cannot wait for this weekend because it's really one of my 10 favorite races of the year across any discipline nascar short track or otherwise hey, you know just when we talked to um bob Sargent a little bit earlier he said you know there were a couple of you know, folks that aren't on the entry list right now that are going to be on there. Uh, one I'm actually really excited about that I just found out yesterday, Jason Les uh, Lester, who won the sportsman race at Freedom Factory, is going oh. to be in John Kaufman's car. And I'll tell you, that car is sneaky fast. I, I He's going to do good in that car, I think. Yeah, we talked to Bob earlier on the show, Matt, and we were talking about it being kind of the first race under that ASA label, even though it's not technically a national tour race, it's a ASA CRA Southern super series race. And obviously people are, are really excited about that and getting behind it because there's a lot of history tied to that name. What do you think is the most important for 
this series for Bob and his team to um, make sure the vibe of the original ASA is um, seen through the event. You know what I mean? Yeah, you listen, I think it comes down to, uh, you know, star power and, and relevancy, right? I know that Bob has put a lot of effort and energy into ensuring that the star power is in these races, whether it's drivers or teams you recognize. And listen, I, I'm a big dirt track guy too, right? World of Outlaws, late models, sprint cars, uh, USAC. I think the one thing that those guys have that that we could do better on, and Bob is bringing that kind of dirt mentality over to pavement, is that when you buy a ticket for World of Outlaws, USAC, what have you, uh, Lucas Oil, uh, you know, you know, Cars Tour does a really good job of it, right? With the the Touring Twelve, you know for sure a dozen drivers that are quantifiable for sure entries when you buy that ticket, and I think that you know ASA. Uh, national needs to have that same sort of um, expectancy when you buy a ticket. You know you're going to get the likes of you know a Bubba Pollard, whoever the full time Donnie uh, Donnie Wilson driver is on any given season. Uh, Stephen Nassie, the possibility that Ty Majeski. We haven't talked about that, but uh, the Truck Series schedule does not conflict with any ASA race. There's a possibility Ty could look at doing this, and so there might be like quantifiable names that you know are going to race when you buy that ticket or you watch the race on television. And so I think that's the number one thing this series has to have is that when you watched ASA all pro uh, what have you back in the day, you knew the stars that they called it the stars and cars, right? You you need to know the stars and cars are going to be there. Okay. In a political way okay. and in, you know, making sure everybody gets equal time. The SRL race this past weekend at Irwindale, the first SRL national race. And although I wasn't there based on everything I've seen, car count, crowd, uh, quality of race and lack of complaining, let's say, I would say that it was a success. What, what, what have you seen? Yeah, totally. Um, Listen, that group is trying really hard to provide something to their constituency, too. And listen, on the West Coast, they are the brand. And I think here on the East Coast, they can provide a nice alternative on weekends where, you know, ASA National isn't racing. They've got a good program and they've had a good program for a long time. And adding, you know, Ricky over the last couple of years to run tech and now having him kind of expand his duties. There's a known commodity there as well and so you look at the races they run at irwindale and kern county uh colorado national uh the vegas bullring um they have a good program and they bring cars from the northwest too they bring cars from british columbia canada um irwindale specifically is the coolest racetrack right i mean i wish we could take irwindale and kind of like replicate it and put it somewhere here in the East Coast, I think kind of the closest thing we have to it is New Smyrna a little bit, but it's not as big, not as fast, multiple lanes. Irwindale is just so cool. I went to that event last year because it was the same weekend as the, the cup race at the, the Coliseum. And they just they run a really good, efficient show. Great car counts. Purses are going up and uh, they've got a really good program, too. And like you said, in the interest of fairness, let's give them some time and, and some attention, too, because that's a really good program. And I think you could run a really robust schedule of races across the ASA coalition and SRL. And I don't know that you can quite make a living doing this, but we're surely closer than we were last year. And that that's a testament to everyone in pavement racing right now to try to elevate this discipline back up. Well, and think about it. I mentioned a little bit earlier, and this is in no part by uh, them actually working together. But that first Stars National race is going to be the week before the Rattler. So you're going to have a chance to win 50 grand, uh, you know, close to 50 grand between those two weekends. I think that's going to allow a lot of cars that's going to say, hey, this is too far for us to go. But if we go down there and run two races, uh, it might be worth it. So uh, that'll be something to look to. One other thing I want to ask you about real quick. Um, Jimmy Johnson's serious on this legacy deal, and I think we figured that out this week with the announcement that Todd Gordon's going to be the crew chief, and I believe Dave Islands is going over there as well. These are no slouches. Yeah, so with Jimmy, I think 
the last two years, Jimmy wanted to cross some things off the bucket list. You know, he he tested a Formula One car and that kind of gave him the inch to go do some road racing, IMSA, IndyCar. But listen, that's not Jimmy's bread and butter. And, and even though Jimmy wanted to do it and he put his full effort into it, he was never going to be as competitive as someone who's done it their entire life, like a Scott Dixon, who's been doing this now uh, across j- junior categories and IndyCar for 30 years. You're just not going to compete with that caliber of driver, a Will Power, a Joseph Newgarden, who's done this style of racing since he was like seven years old, right? He knows that there's there's a short runway left in his career at his age to where he can be really competitive in something that he's super familiar with. And I think that even though he did something he enjoyed the last two years, he missed being competitive. He missed being Jimmy Johnson, seven time NASCAR cup series champion. And he can kind of pick and choose races that either one, he knows he can be competitive in or two races that just kind of cross off another bucket list too. North Wilkesboro. He's going to be at the all-star race. And so I think for Jimmy, no matter how long this lasts, both as an owner and a driver, um, this is one last chance to really uh, be the Jimmy Johnson that everyone remembered him being over his, I call it the decade of dominance, right? Where he just owned the Cup Series. He can be closer to that. He's got the team and the crew around him. And we saw with Eric Jones last year, that program, that team, they can be very good at the right track. And I think Jimmy Johnson is going to pick tracks where he can be the Jimmy Johnson that everyone remembers him being. Yep, no doubt about it. Man, I appreciate it. Uh, We'll catch up with you soon. Absolutely. Good talking to you guys as always. All right. That's Matt Weaver. Look for him down at Speed Fest this weekend. We come back. We'll talk about what you'll see this weekend here on Racing America. Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. (laughs) Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands, as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Speed Fest returns to Chris Motorsports Park at Watermelon Capital Speedway Friday and Saturday, January 27th and 28th. See the super late models, pro late models, outlaws, legends, and bandoleros. Speed Fest has practice and qualifying Friday. Well, all of the feature action is Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. For discounted tickets and info, check out trackenterprises.com and chrismotorsportspark.com. It's Speed Fest 2023 at Watermelon Capital Speedway Friday and Saturday, January 27th and 28th. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety and the exclusive importer for Schrott belts and Schubert helmets. When risk is around every corner, let our experts help you select the best harness belts, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. Don't make safety an afterthought. We have 25 years of experience of educating our customers on all aspects of driver safety and providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, sprint cars, and sport cars. Visit our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us out online at hmsmotorsport.com to learn the details of our products and, of course, order online. Well, Jess, you know what this is. It's another... Exciting weekend of racing... That's on right. Racing America. Well, as you saw earlier, we didn't have highlights <laughs> this week, so I didn't have to test you with that. But, um, of course, we've got Speed Fest, which will be uh, Friday and Saturday here on Racing America. Yep. The combo non-points event for the ASA Southern Super Series and the a- a- ASA CRA Super Series. Uh, it's going to be hard. <laughs> it's a lot of A's and S's. 
Um, but uh, you're going to have the Pro Late models there, a uh, big field mm -hmm. of Legends cars, uh, all sorts of great stuff. That's going to be Friday and Saturday at Watermelon Capital Speedway, or you can watch here on Racing America. And I remembered what I was going to say to... Um, but the first time you ever met me was at to, Speed Fest? No, well, we are in disagreement about this, but mm. it, I'll get to that. What I was going to say to Dawson that I couldn't remember was that he mentioned that he was running 30 late model mm -hmm. races. And I just wanted to point out that last week we talked to Bubba Pollard and he mentioned that that's what you got to do to like really build your skill set is yep. just be seat time. And then Matt just mentioned, what did Matt just mention? Well, see, up until now, oh, I, Jimmy thought, Johnson. I thought you had had a lot of seat time and that's why I was telling everybody you were so good. And then you forgot the question today. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, today's not a good, t today's a chemo brain day. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, Matt mentioned Jimmy Johnson and, you know, these drivers that have all this experience and he wants to get back in a cup car because, you know, he's got skills yet. So anyway, that's what I was going to say, Dawson. And do you know uh, that Speed Fest is not going to be the only thing that we've got on Racing America this weekend? Uh, we were scheduled to uh, broadcast at Citrus County Speedway down in Florida. They were running super late models, as you probably know because you tuned in last weekend the harley wilson memorial for the pure stocks got rained out mm -hmm. they rescheduled it for this weekend mm -hmm. so no super late models at citrus county this weekend basically everything that was scheduled for last weekend moves to this weekend with the pure stocks and the way everything should fall out with when they run the races i know uh speed fest usually ends late afternoon on saturday you should be able to go right from speed fest to to um citrus county and be able to watch pretty much both of the races yeah there's yeah. a whole day of racing yeah it's going to be a lot so check out watermelon capital and citrus county this weekend here on racing america that gets you caught up on where we'll be when we come back we'll wrap up another episode of the board returns to Chris Motorsports Park at Watermelon Capital Speedway Friday and Saturday, January 27th and 28th. See the super late models, pro late models, outlaws, legends, and bandoleros. Speedfest has practice and qualifying Friday. Well, all of the feature action is Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. For discounted tickets and info, check out trackenterprises.com and chrismotorsportspark.com. It's Speedfest 2023 at Watermelon Capital Speedway Friday and Saturday, January 27th and 28th. Communication is key in the racing world. When it comes to at-the-track communications, there is only one place to call. Racing Electronics is the number one source for professional race communications worldwide. Over 20 years in the business proves their dedication to the sport. With every driver and crew communication, two-way radios and headsets, scanners and more, Racing Electronics is a one-stop communication source for all your motorsports needs. Before the green flag flies, make sure you have all your team communication gear from Racing Electronics. Stop by and see a Racing Electronics representative at the track near you. Visit their showroom in Concord, North Carolina, or order online at racingelectronics.com. Hooters and racing go together like killer wings and ice cold beer. Racing has been at the core of Hooters DNA from the beginning. Whether it's backing the best drivers or serving up the best food on race day, race fans know Hooters is the real deal. Big screens, great food, good times. Hooters, the official home of race fans. Well, we want to thank all of our guests today. Uh, I don't have chemo brain, but I always have to go back and look. Thanks to Bob Sargent, as well as Jacob Gomes, David Reagan, Dawson Sutton, and Matt Weaver um, for joining us. 
As uh, we mentioned in the last segment, we'll have Speed Fest on Friday and Saturday from Watermelon Capital Speedway on Racing America um, and uh, our races from Citrus County. And one other thing I, I want to mention, if uh, you go back on racingamerica.com and racingamerica.tv this weekend, you'll be able to go back and look at um, years past runnings of Speed Fest and Ooh. watch those races and that's awesome. Yep. Get caught up and, and you'll see just what a great event it is. Uh, as for me, where am I? I'm not. Oh, yeah. How did that game go? It went good. Hopefully, Patrick Mahomes can still walk. But uh, the most important thing is, is that he can walk on Sunday all over the Bengals. Oh. That's what we're hoping. I'm from Ohio. Yeah, but you folks in Columbus usually we root pull for, for the, the Browns. Browns. Yeah, yeah, so I will root for the Chiefs. <laughs> yeah. The Royals, the, no, it's the <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs. It's like I always tell my uh, wife, I'm like, uh, the Chicago Cubs won the uh, Super Bowl this year. And she, <laughs> that's about how much she knows about sports. Did she like the soup, the halftime show in the commercials? I don't know. We no, always she's turn just it, like totally not. We always the Super Bowl. turn it from the halftime show because it's horrible and this year will be rihanna which will be even worse <laughs> so who do you want to be on the halftime show um how about george Strait? Mm, huey lewis <laughs> bob seeger are they alive well uh, if somebody told them and reminded them they are all right. I'm looking forward to Rihanna, so. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to hopefully the Chiefs. When is the Super Bowl? The Super Bowl. It's We're way ahead weeks, of ourselves. Two weeks from this coming okay. Sunday. So All we've right. got the AFC Championship and NFC Championship this weekend after racing here on Racing America. So for Jess Ballard and um, our crazy cast of characters, I'm Alan Beat saying so long, and we'll see you next week here on the Bull Run. Speed Fest returns to Chris Motorsports Park in Watermelon Capital Speedway Friday and Saturday, January 27th and 28th. See the super late models, pro late models, outlaws, legends, and bandoleros. Speed Fest has practice and qualifying Friday. Well, all of the feature action is Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. For discounted tickets and info, check out trackenterprises.com and chrismotorsportspark.com. It's Speed Fest 2023 at Watermelon Capital Speedway Friday and Saturday, January 27th and 28th. Get up on your feet, race fans. Can you believe it? Right now, racing, in my opinion, is as healthy as it's been in the last 15 to 20 years. Just wanted to make that first lap. Go! <laughs> <laughs> HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety and the exclusive importer for Schrott belts and Schubert helmets. When risk is around every corner, let our experts help you select the best harness belts, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. Don't make safety an afterthought. We have 25 years of experience of educating our customers on all aspects of driver safety and providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, sprint cars, and sport cars. Visit our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us out online at hmsmotorsports.com to learn the details of our products and, of course, order online. PB Blaster busts the toughest rust anywhere it's found. Mmm, that's what I'm talking about. Penetrate tough rust with complete control. That's right, baby! PB Blaster, Woo! don't bust your knuckles, bust your nuts. Get some!